Hi, I'm Jim Hamilton. I'm a group director with InfoTrends, and I'd like to talk to you about some print samples that I picked up at Graph Expo that show off the ability to do uh, special effects beyond four color. But devices actually that include the capability to do four color CMYK as part of the overall process. Uh, you may have heard, for example, that Xerox now can do gold, actually gold and silver uh, on the uh, the 1000 i so it's the Xerox Color uh, 1000i product. Uh, and this is, you know, many of the samples that we'll see using these capabilities, and, you know, I'm trying to see if the video can pick up on some of this stuff, but the gold is really very nice, uh, are done on stocks that are not white. So this happens to be a GPA Ultra Digital 5 mil black synthetic paper to get this, uh, you know, gold effect off of the uh, 1000i. You know, the, uh, the uh, Rico, it's the Pro C7000X series, uh, has a number of different capabilities that can add, including a, uh, basically a clear and a white. And so, again, many of these samples that are shown are on papers that are not uh, necessarily white. So you lay down a metallic effect, uh, or you lay down white and four color and some clear on a metallic paper, and you can get some really fantastic looking effects here. Uh, same kind of thing happening on a, on a red stock where you're using the, the white because the, you know, there's no white on this paper. It's a red stock. So that arrow is done by laying down white toner and then a combination of CMYK on top of that. Uh, you've seen uh, the campaign print is more alive than ever. Uh, if you've got to Graph Expo and see some of Rico's uh, promotional kind of pieces, but again, you know, if you're printing on a red stock and you want to really pop out the color of those cherries, uh, you're laying down white white toner to get the white effect. And similar kind of thing, uh, this on more of a sort of a metallic or a um, you know colored kind of stock. Um, another entrant in that capability to do more than four color. Uh, is Oki with its C92, or C, I'm sorry, C942. So you see this again on a black stock or on more of a, a, a grayish one or something that's red and again a little bit more synthetic, keep calm and print on, or some of these Batman like wham, bazinga, puff kinds of uh, uh, explanations. But, but neat capabilities that, that exist there. I've done a separate video on what uh, MGI is doing with its Meteor iFoil. Again, hard to pick up what's going on here, but this is a toner-based process. And then there's the possibility to lay uh, um, metallic foil on top of it. And really, this is a tremendous special effect. Um, there are, you know, among the other newcomers to the ability to do five color uh, is Xerox with the iGen 5. So they've got a green, a blue, and an orange that can be inserted in that fifth color station. And it's really very nice to look at. Again, I've done separate videos on this, but what Xerox has, has done for me is to provide a, a four color version and then a version using the green. And when you look at the ones that use that green, you can see how it's able to reach a lot more colors and how in this case, you know, where you're comparing, let's just do slide over a little bit, where you're comparing a green that uses, on the outside, that uses that uh, fifth color green versus a green that's reproduced without it, you get a much brighter, much cleaner kind of color. Um, again, something else I've done a separate video on is this calendar that was produced by HP using this fluorescent pink, and actually because a lot of these were printed on on uh, you know colored stocks like a black stock there you know that they're using white and perhaps other spot colors as well but indigo has been in the market doing fifth color capability really for a long time has a wide range of capabilities and could do up to seven colors and one last example i'd like to show is what the folks at uh, next press can do so this is a long sheet example and again when you do a long sheet you're able to uh you know do things like this, which is a pocket folder. And this is a pre-die cut uh, piece with tape on it. And so if you see this long sheet piece, when it all folds down and tapes up, you've got a pocket folder like this. And I'm showing it in the fifth color segment, basically, because they've used the dimensional capability on this. To a large extent, though, I feel like a long sheet is also an additional capability beyond process color. 
But for today, we're really talking about the the, uh, the fifth color or sixth or seventh color capability in the case of HP Indigo and some of the great special effects that you can get, and particularly on colored stocks. So nice work by all of these vendors at Graph Expo 2015 to show off some of those capabilities.